a work in progress. That is what the Raleigh police chief says about the city's safety. And tonight, the department is sharing some critical stats showing how far they have come over the last year. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live for us tonight, breaking down all of the efforts that they've been taking. Haley. Well, some crimes like homicides are up, but some crimes like robberies against people are down. The police chief says this is a work in progress, but it's going to take a team effort and people working together to make Raleigh the safest city in the country. Raleigh's newly released crime stats only tell part of a bigger picture. Homicides are up compared to this time last year, and motor vehicle thefts are also up. But aggravated assaults with firearms are down. Firearms stolen from cars also down. Police Chief Estella Patterson says it's not just the city of Oaks having these problems. We all have seen those trends, those upticks across the nation. They're not unique to Raleigh. What is unique to Raleigh is the growth. We are seeing tremendous growth in this region. It is good growth, but also with that growth, you're going to have a segment of the population that is committing crime. She says her department is doing what they can. They have arrested all of the suspects in the seven homicides so far this year. They're also ramping up their Connect Raleigh program, which is the citywide surveillance camera system, where people can opt in to share their cameras with the police department. Already, it's seen success. Back on April 25th, we had a double shooting downtown and a private video camera was successful in capturing that initial altercation, which then led us to identify the suspect and, and arrest the suspect in that case. But there are some concerns. Last week, we reported a woman waited hours for police to arrive after she was involved in a hit and run crash. I asked the chief about vacancies in the department and efforts to reduce their response times. We're currently sitting at 67 vacancies um, in the department. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that our officers are coming. But we do recognize that we live in a city of almost half a million. And during the week when people come into this city, we can get swell to a million. The RPD is also launching their new civilian traffic crash investigator unit in August. These non-sworn officers will head to minor fender benders and help free up resources for all and officers to handle the more serious crimes. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right. Thanks for that, Haley.